I'm going tomorrow. I'm going by myself and we'll be able to see what's going on there. Because I'm going to go do the fishing that I want to go do. It's a Sunday. That's the reason I'm going tomorrow, Monday. I don't dare go out on a weekend. Alrighty, folks. It's Monday. I don't know. 10 o'clock, 9.30. I don't know. Second drift of my float rig. Second drift. I think it's go time. I wanna go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing I don't ever wanna stop Do you think? What was I talking about? It's go time. Second drift of a shrimp. Who let them dogs out? 26 inches, folks. Two, six. Second drift. Come on. Well, it's beautifully cool out here. No sweating to the oldies. There's a lot of people out today. Uh, there is like a kind of a north breeze, but it's it's no big deal. It's no big deal. The live shrimp are sprightly and big. You know, I've been told about these guys. I haven't caught any. These little mangrove snappers. This is my first one since like last year. I don't know why. Other people have told me they caught them, but I haven't. Mangrove snapperage. The ultimate bait stealer. There were some pinfish. Right, here we go. The first one shocked me. Oh, shit, he just got off. Oh, that was a stud. What a bitch. God dang, just lost another one. I better check these Teflon hooks I'm using. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell was that? Why am I losing these? I mean, he's on. <laughs> he's smoking me. Here we go again. I have no clue what this is. But it's a, oh, it's a goddamn tarpon. No wonder! He just jumped. It was a god dang tarpon about that big. God dang, no wonder. Holy smokes, no wonder. It's god dang tarpon. <laughs> I'm not really fishing a tarpon spot, folks. Oh, that was something. Of course I can't show you where I'm fishing. Can't point the camera the other way. I've learned not to do that. Well, the only reason that one stayed on for like one head shake is for the sheer fact that I let him eat it a lot longer. What I'm doing here is I'm actually fishing an area that bait should be coming through. No doubt bait is going to come through. And uh, I've been in the same quarter mile all day. Because that's how I like to fish many times. Especially when I'm out just goofing around myself, doing a little research and development. I'm not going to run far. I'm going to, if it's a good, bad, or indifferent type spot, I'm going to try it. And that's actually what I'm doing right now. I've had my bait ripped off with a fish on three times. And I think two of them might have been tarpon. Small one, crowd pleaser. But that's how I'm approaching a lot of what I, when I go out and just do a little research and development. I pick an area and I fish it all day at various times. I don't like running around. Talked to a guy yesterday that said he was on a charter in North Carolina. 
and the guy ran around so much that he ran out of gas 20 miles from the dock. And they had to get towed in or something. 20 miles from the dock. Ooh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's far away from that. That's not that big. Oh, he's a thumper. Can you imagine? Oh, this is something goofy. This is something goofy. I don't think it's a trout. <laughs> but you, can you imagine being 20 miles from the dock and running out of gas? And he said that the guy did nothing but run around all day, and they only hardly they hardly fished. I said, you don't have to worry about that with me. I said, you don't have to worry about that with me. I'm, I'm a spot fisherman. I like, oh, what is this, a jack or something? Well, it's, yeah, it's a jack. See, I've caught jacks here before. It's thumping. Fun nonetheless. All right, here we go. Way far away from the boat. Please stay on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, please stay on. That's the cool thing about the float rig. Fish fight totally different when they're, oh, oh, there he is, okay. When they're on that float. I better get the net. Oh, now he's running. Oh, oh my God, now he's running. Oh, it's a red fish. It's a keeper red fish. Oh, he's not that big. My drag just might, must be awful loose. Oh, he's full of spit and vinegar. That's all it is. Oh, come on. Come on on this side of the boat. This is where the camera's at. Don't be, don't be camera shy, man. Oh, look at that. He just come off right there. Ah, uh, what the hell is going on? Ah, uh, that was a nice keeper redfish. What kind of day am I having? So when that happens to you, don't feel like you're the Lone Ranger, folks. Because <coughs> I get customers losing a lot, a lot of good fish. Man, I was way back from the boat. And the float went down and I stuck him. And he really took off. He felt a lot bigger than what he looked like. Maybe he was 23, 24 inches. He looked in the water there. Looked like he was about 21 inches. Don't feel like the Lone Ranger. Come on. I let him really take that float down and then I just, I kind of bill danced him. There he is, he's coming along. Oh God, it's a little red fish. Oh, it's a little red fish. Little, little, little red fish. Come here, dude. There we go. Well, he probably ain't gonna make keeper status. I doubt it. Alright. I'm sure non-keeper status. Yeah, exactly one inch short. 17 inches. <laughs> What we're going to do right now is I'm going to stick this camera down by the water and I want you to maybe see it might show up the particulates that are in the water that's getting stuck in your fuel cooler on your engine. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, you probably can't see it from inside. So, let me flip the camera upside down here. And let's see, since this is a waterproof proof GoPro, if you can see the particulars. Alright, that was one inch under the surface. We'll see if it shows up on the camera because I'm sitting here right now and this water is unbelievable with the amount of 
particulates that are in the water. I don't know what else to call it. And that's the reason why I had to do, and I will be doing, uh, more of a flush on my engine. When I go home today, I'm running it out with clean water in my barrel. I'm not just plugging it up to the thing and just letting it flush. I'm not running all that up into my thermostat and just letting the water turn around. And No, I am running the engine. And I am going to pump clean water through it. I don't know if we can see it. We'll see when the footage comes out here. I think it's about time to go make the donuts. The only keeper I got is that one gator trout. So, I'm uh, thinking about going back and cleaning him and calling it a day. Uh, I fished a small little circle today and that was it. Just to challenge myself to see what was going on. I uh, didn't do a whole lot of moving around and uh, had a lot of action, a lot of action. Let's see, I lost a trout and I lost a red. I ended up with two small reds, too many ladyfish, too many jacks, and hooked that tarpon. What else? Oh, and four mangrove snappers. So, you know, okay for just fishing a little circle. That's all I did. So let's go back and let's make the donuts. All right, here she be. Dinner. Late. 